Hi, this is the Coaching Educator with Rebecca M. Carroll. And question, have you started your essay or do you feel confident about your personal statement essay? Stay tuned for Tuesday tips and find out how we strategize with students on their personal statement essay. So what are colleges looking for? What do they require in your personal statement? Colleges want this moment in this essay to be beyond your grades and to beyond your scores. This is where you can really truly shine. And if you're a student like I was, who my grades and test scores were not my greatest strength, this is where you can really shine. So application readers want to see how you think and if you're able to communicate that. And they also want to hear your voice within this. They want to hear your voice within this essay. They want to know you within your writing. And it's really a good opportunity for you to shine in this. So getting started, what you want to do is you, you need to review your applications. You want to kind of have a bulleted list of your activities. You want to know your classes. You just kind of want to organize all those pieces, but you want to start looking at an accomplishment that you have or a trait that's really you committed to or a special interest that you can just really write about that's enthusiastic. And you want to also have, you, you want to be looking at does the application leave important questions out so that it's not reflecting who you are? Because many times they'll ask for a lot of data, but it's not really showing them that you're different from any other student and why you should be on that campus or why they should pick you over someone else. So you kind of have to do this identity development and it's challenging because most students are not used to writing in this way where you're you're actually highlighting who you are and communicating who you are. So it's important for you to be doing this. So how do you do this? How where do you begin? How what do you need to be doing? Well, you need to understand that most essays are anywhere from 250 words to 650. And it's important for you within that framework to be able to get a lot accomplished and make sure that you're actually answering the prompt. So think about, do this exercise before you even look at the prompts. Do the exercise of thinking about what has really impacted you greatly. I do have some students who are athletes who that is their biggest impact. But I also have people who are musicians. I have people who have come across really great mentors within their school programs or have participated in some sort of community service or leadership project. These are all the pieces within school that might have impacted you, but you can also be writing about something that's completely outside of school. I have a student who actually helped build a house and he had that opportunity because of a neighbor. Okay, I'm gonna tell you it's Nias, he's my cameraman. Okay, <laughs> and that really impacted him and he can actually write and speak about that because it was such a useful experience and it, it was from start to finish, and how many people get to do that? So that's what you're, I'm talking about, is they oftentimes want something that's either within school or out of school, but it was pretty significant. You could talk about things that are important to you. What is important? I have many students, and my daughter included, who are very, very connected, to animals and they want to help animals out and within the years that they were in high school they were able to experience some sort of way in which they participated with animals. What is a career aspiration? Did you come across a person who mentored you or you were able to shadow or do you have an aunt or an uncle or a father or a mother or grandfather or grandmother that actually inspired you within a certain career? I've seen that that is important. So these are all the pieces of things you kind of want to start formulating and, and thinking about what has really impacted you within the last four years of your life. 
The other key message, so we like to have you identify and answer this question. So think about the readers, and colleges do it differently, but for the most part, the readers work for the college. They end up reading in groups, and they actually read your essay out loud. Many colleges use this strategy, and so how does this sound? You want to you want to be able to see this, but what we want is this group of people who are reading your essay to actually say, wow, this student sure is. So fill in that blank, and it has to come from you. It can't come from your parents. What is it that you want them to know about you? So you need to fill in the blank, and then we call that your key message statement. So then you're gonna be brainstorming. So write as if you're in a journal. You wanna, you wanna actually write events in your life, uh, what you wanna communicate. You wanna write about influential people, and this could just be quick paragraphs. Who really influences you and why? And really be able to speak to that. Do you have a collection or a hobby or community service activity that defines you? I have one student who actually did a lot of collecting of stamps with his grandfather, and that was a really strong relationship, and it was a really interesting, it, it just was an interesting essay. It was several years ago where this student had built this really strong relationship with his grandfather through this collection, and they had been doing it for years. You also want to think about what are your dreams and aspirations? Picture yourself in 15 years. How do you see yourself? Things like that, that's important. And you know, how is it fitting into that key message statement that you defined? Only then examine the prompts. So the prompts now, after you have these pieces that you have worked on, you can actually work them into the prompt. So it's important because you're more clear on your traits and your skills and what you want your, you know, you, what you want the college admissions to think about when they're reading about you. Who are you? You want them to identify you as a certain character. And it, be careful to not overgeneralize. We don't want you to say, oh, I'm awesome. That's not what we're doing here. What do you want how do you want them to define you? That's the goal that you're working towards. You want to understand the type of prompt you're using. Is it in, it's, some of them are intended almost like an interview and you need to be able to keep it to you speaking about you. And I know that many students struggle. They start talking about either a parent or another person's perceptions. That is not what they're looking for. They are looking for you talking about you. So it's important that you keep it to that. And you want to make a plan and, you, and look for similar prompts that you know you could apply to other schools or the smaller prompts for other schools. So many of the colleges have supplemental prompts. Many of the scholarships have supplemental prompts. So they've already have your main personal statement. But if you're writing about a piece, you can oftentimes tweak it a little to create another essay. So it's important that, especially if this is a huge thing that's been a part of your life, it's important for you to do that to reduce the amount of essays because you're busy. If you're showing colleges that you're serious about going to college, you usually have a very full senior year. So this is not a school assignment. It's not necessarily an academic paper. It's important for you to understand that the admissions officers want to see that you could be a key member of their community. So you write the draft. Please understand that most drafts are three to four times you'll be drafting this essay to really, really solidify it. What I personally do is I request that they not worry about the length and to go over the 650 because it's very, it's very easy for students to cut their own essay down after. And you want to also have the hook. You want to grab them in that first paragraph. So it's important for you to be writing in a way that it's going to make them want to read after the first two or three sentences. You don't want to summarize paragraphs. You want, it's almost like a story. Tell a story about this journey or this, this 
person that you're connected to and how it changed you or um, again be looking at the prompts and make sure you're within the story within the prompts it's important for you to be able to do this you want them to want to keep reading and to be intrigued and you, and you know at this point don't worry about spelling and grammar and also be very careful about just utilizing the automatic grammar check because sometimes it changes words that you don't want it to change and sometimes it uses a tense that you don't want it to use so be careful to not just be clicking correcting words just using the automatic finally you're going to be refining your essay so you have put your essay away for a couple days you're going back to it you're rereading it and you're making sure you're looking at the prompt that it actually answered many of the prompts have two or three ideas within it or or requests within it it's important that you're you're actually writing to all that they have asked you to accomplish within that prompt does it flow is it choppy did you smoothly transition the paragraphs you know it's important and so now you're really looking at that grammar and punctuation and spelling and making sure that you're uh, not having super extended sentences you want to be able to have the right amount of sentences and you want to make sure that you've answered again you want to make sure you've answered the question fully without exceeding the word count when they say they want it to be a certain length they really don't want you to go over that so it's important for you to be conscientious about it so when it's 650 words anywhere from 600 to 650 even 550 if you accomplish what they're asking you to do and answer the prompt that's perfectly fine and then you want to ask people to read it you want to make sure that they're not changing what you're stating i have had students experience where people are changing their essay and almost rewriting it that's not the goal the goal is that you have people read it make sure the punctuation is decent make sure that you are in the same tense throughout it and make sure that you've answered the prompt that's what you're asking people to look at and to share with them your key message statement and ask them did you accomplish being able to voice your key statement did you in did you weave it in are they seeing that are they seeing what you had originally written down for your key message statement and if you can do those pieces so it's important for you to select that reader that can look at that and answer you honestly that would be great so again key points you're going to want to work to complete your essays do not wait till a week before they're due it'll be very challenging to actually get a very interesting essay that really pulls out your voice and that allows the admissions counselors to really see who you are and want to have you on their campus so you need to decide your key message statement it may feel really awkward but i encourage you to do that you want to then be reading your prompts you want to focus on you this is about you not anybody else you want to read your essay out loud that is so important for you to do that is an exercise that i utilize a lot with students i have them read and then i read that their essay back and they it's so easy for them to pick up their errors and mistakes and if it's really sounding like themselves and you want to be real you're I, every student has something to bring to the table and that is one of the reasons why i love this job it is really fun to be seeing how kids are expressing themselves in writing it's really one of the the really great things about the job that i have so i it's important for you to understand that people love reading about students it's important for you to go into this with that idea so start working on those essays if you haven't already we're going to add our get to the point worksheet for you to help you with this exercise i encourage you to do that if you have any comments or any suggestions or any questions please put them down below if you like this video please share it with your friends and we'll see you next week for tuesday tips